Hello, it's the Gender Chat Show again. My name is Adesa Wangpo. Okay, today we'll be talking about paying women's salary for domestic work. You see, it's been proven time and time again that women are economically disadvantaged all around the world. And women tend to actually leave their job to be domestic wives in order to take care of their home, their husbands and their kids. And not just that, most women are actually raised from small to think they are actually losers if they are not doing well in caring for their homes. So most of the time, a whole lot of women actually think it behoves on them alone to keep the home front, to make sure the house is clean, the children are catered for, food is ready, clothes are clean, the house is tidy, and several other domestic jobs that the house entails. When you go for PTAs, it's only women you see. When you go for school PTAs, when you go for children's school runs, health, health um, running through hospital runs while their children are sick, when they have to go for into house sports and all that domestic job. Why don't we pay for those productive time? We are talking about times invested in creating a regular home, a home that is supposed to turn out to raise children that will be diligent human beings in future, right? So why are we not paying for those productive times? Why are we not making those hours count? Those hours we spend into cleaning up, into washing off kids, going for school runs, providing meals, going to the market, going to church, taking them to hospitals, taking them for PTAs, taking them for sporting activities, taking them for social activities, and several other women tend to be the doctors who have to tend to their kids with little first aid before they rush them to the hospital. They tend to be the accountants who have to manage the financial budget of homes. They have to be the cleaner, they have to be the drivers, they have to do every damn thing that we officially will pay someone else in our corporate environment to do right. We will pay to have resident doctors, we will pay to have lawyers, we will pay to have legal advisors, we will pay to have cleaners, we will pay to have um, accountants in our offices. For every services in every organization, we practically pay people there to do those jobs. But we don't think the women in our homes are deserving of a pay while doing the same job we will willingly and happily pay others in our corporate environment to do. I think it's about time we started negotiating these contracts, these terms and conditions. Oh, I clean. How much does it take to pay a cleaner hourly? I have to cater to the children. How much does it take to be a babysitter hourly? We need to not just let women get so emotionally physically and mentally spent without giving a financial compensation to their job. Oh, I'm sure a whole lot of us say, oh, well, they get compensated for being more than... Yes, fantastic. But because of the fact that women are not economically empowered, women are, a, a whole lot of women are economically disadvantaged, we need to start paying them for those productive times spent taking care of homes, spent raising children that will turn out to be great adults tomorrow. We need to start paying women for those productive time they spend in giving us a fantastic place to come back to peacefully. You know why you go to your offices and they look squeaky clean at all the time? And you don't get to have to worry about the fact that it's clean. Somebody get paid to do their job. But women get so exhausted, they are emotionally exhausted, they are mentally exhausted because they are practically working morning, night, day. They don't have the time for personal care. They barely have the time for personal development. They barely have the time for personal growth. Even the ones that are working moms, they still have to come back home to do the same domestic job that they would have have to pay someone else to do. Even when they have domestic helpers doing it, a whole lot of men will want the woman to still be the one to do their own personal laundry. They will still want the woman to do their personal cooking. They will still want the woman to be the one who have to do the market runs. Even when they pay domestic workers to do those things, they still want their wife to be, they will, the question they ask is, so why is she the wife? What is her benefit of being the wife? Come on. Come on, like seriously? It's about that for you? 
It's about that for you. So we really, really need to look beyond our selfish interest in in, in these things. Women need to be paid to to compensate for the time, the emotion, the mental the mental time spent doing a whole lot of just keeping homes together. It will go a very long way to give to boost their self confidence, knowing that they have some pay to to themselves to be able to do something. I don't just mean stipend, I mean real pay that is really, really worth the time. Yes, my name is Adesa Wango. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook at Gender Chat Show. See you some other time.